we've had a lot of questions about the Breville Oracle and the advanced menu. And so why not just go to the expert? So Phil here from Breville is here to explain it all. Take it away. Hey, Miranda, how are you doing? <laughs> Good, how are you? Yeah, really well, thanks. Good. So this is, um, we'll give you a bit of a run through on the advanced menu. So mm -hmm. this is different to, this is our regular menu. So these mm -hmm. are the things you'd want to adjust on a more sort of like regular day-to-day -day basis. Right. So stuff like shot volumes, um, shot temp, running a cleaning cycle, so if you want to clean the espresso paths, mm -hmm. um, setting the clock, the auto start, all of that sort of stuff is all just in our regular menu there. So Everything I need. <laughs> everything you should touch like on maybe a weekly or monthly basis. Right. So the, thi the things under our advanced menu, so the mm -hmm. way you get into it is with the machine off, you press and hold the one cup button mm -hmm. down and then press and hold the power button. And then it comes up. And this is the the start of the advanced menu. So Perfect. this is the first item that you can uh, that you can play with. So this is the reset. Mm -hmm. So if you press the the select button here, mm -hmm. it'll reset everything in the machine. So it'll reset everything back to the default settings. So it'll be the brew water temperature, the shot volumes. Right. Uh, it'll reset the clock. Mm -hmm. All those sorts of things will all go back to the factory default. So Perfect. we'll just give it a reset now. Oh no. <laughs> You've lost everything. You've lost all your custom settings are all oh, now. Oh, that's back okay. To <laughs> you know the best anyway. <laughs> so then it, then it prompts you to set your water hardness. Okay. So most people have a water hardness of a three or two mm -hmm. generally if yeah. they live in a regular water area. But use a test strip that comes with your Oracle to set that. So you can just test your water hardness and then the machine logs that hardness setting mm -hmm. and then based on use it will prompt you to descale the machine. Fantastic. So we just select the default, and there we are. We're back to regularly making coffee now. So Great. if we go back into the, sorry, mm -hmm. if we go back into the um, into the advanced menu, mm -hmm. we'll show you the next item you can set. So we just use the select dial to scroll along. So this is descale now. Perfect. So if you press the select button now, it will run you through the descale cycle, which is which is a menu based or menu prompted system. So every step requires you to confirm it. So. And once you get in, you're done. You need to go through that process. You're committed to it unless you Perfect. unless you bail out of it and okay. then the machine won't know it's been descaled. Okay. So the descale prompt will still come up. Okay. The next um, thing you can set is just setting the units. So mm -hmm. if you want to set degrees C or degrees F for brewing temperature, okay. that's the next thing you can set. Okay. So unfortunately, when you set or play with each of these items, it goes back to the start. So if you want to set something else in the advanced menu, you have to do what I just did, go back into it. Absolutely. So okay. So the next one is setting the LCD. So what this does is it just sets the contrast of the LCD. So okay. you can have the LCD um, compensate for different ambient lighting conditions. So oh, okay. if you're in a in a heavily lit area, you can turn it up, or if it's in a dimly lit area, you can turn it down. Mood lighting. Mood lighting. <laughs> this is more um, the mood lighting is the spotlight. Oh, so, right, right. So I've got here. some some uh, work mm -hmm. uh, work area lights here, so you can turn those up or down with by setting the spotlights. Okay. Then we have the steam. So what this means is this allows you to uh, to set the steam boiler temperature. Mm -hmm. So. This is our default, obviously, because we just reset the right. machine. So you can turn it up. And that would be for more steam pressure? More steam pressure, exactly. Okay. So, But what this means is it's sort of uh, counterintuitive. Mm -hmm. If you were using the machine uh, in, a, in a manual steam mode, so mm -hmm. lifting the lever up, mm -hmm. you'd probably want to have this turned up. Okay. But if you want more texture, mm -hmm. um, out of the um, texture, auto texturing system, you actually need to turn it down. Oh, interesting. So if you turn it down to 270, you'll actually get more texture. So you can see if we, um, if we don't adjust anything while we're in the advanced menu, uh, it'll kick just you out. kick you out okay. and go straight back to um, our standby screen. It's a good thing it's only a couple seconds to get in there, huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So that was the uh, steam. So this is this is the air. Mm -hmm. So this um, this adjusts the amount of air that's being injected by the air pump into our um, auto texturing system. Okay. Generally, it's something you don't need to play with, uh, but we've put it in there just in case um, we need to compensate for any of the production tolerances. Mm -hmm. So if we have an air pump that's on the lower end of the spec or the higher end of the spec, then we can adjust that um, in service without having to return the unit. Oh, easy. Okay. Yeah. The next one is the sound. Mm -hmm. So you can turn the beeps. Mm -hmm. You can turn the beeps off 
or you can have uh, low, medium or high. Oh, so okay. it's just a volume control on the sound. Perfect, so it doesn't wake somebody up. Exactly, <laughs> that's right. But you, well, you'd have no idea how many complaints we get about beeps and appliances. <laughs> Everybody wants the option to turn them off. Right. <laughs> The next one is uh, is the fan. So internally we have just mounted just behind the grinder, mm -hmm. we have uh, a fan that mm -hmm. uh, pulls uh, air from the outside of the machine, inside of the machine and diverts it out. Okay. So it keeps the grinding mechanism uh, and the beans all cool mm -hmm. so they don't heat up. Mm -hmm. So with that fan setting, you can actually turn the fan off or have low, medium, high as well. So oh, okay. it comes uh, standard, the default is set to the high setting. Okay. Uh, but if you're in an environment where maybe the fan itself is, you find it too noisy because it's just a bit of background you don't want, mm -hmm. you can actually turn it off. Okay. The next one is the, uh, the clean me alert. Mm -hmm. So you can actually turn the clean me alert off. Oh, okay. So a lot of people, um, they religiously back flush their machines, they clean them quite often. Mm -hmm. Whereas this will prompt you every 200 extractions to clean me, okay. but if you don't want to be prompted to clean because you regularly clean as part of your regime, good you, for them. Yeah, <laughs> you, you can you can turn that off. Okay. The next one is uh, is the clock, so you can have twelve hour or twenty four hour mm -hmm. uh, clock setting. Okay. And this one is uh, is one that we've uh, introduced. So whether you want to use the volumetric settings mm -hmm. uh, for the amount of extraction, or mm -hmm. whether you want to use a time based. Okay. Um, extraction. So yeah. it comes set up um, default for time. So for a single, it's 20 seconds. For double, it's uh, it's 30 seconds. Okay. Um, but you can change that to volumetrics. Okay. But then you will need to program your volumetric buttons okay. um, through the regular menu. It comes with some defaults, mm -hmm. but you'll still need to customize those yourself. Right. It won't be set for your two ounces or your four ounce Americano. Or exactly. Yeah. That's right. You'll need to customize those. Okay. So that's the run through on, uh, yeah. Fantastic. On the, uh, well, that is easy, that much easier than I made it out to be. So <laughs> <laughs> thanks for stopping by and, and encouraging us to use it yeah. as occasionally as needed. But yeah, my um, pleasure. So, so easy to use. So all those things are all described in the instruction book that comes with the machine. Mm -hmm. So great. If, um, if anyone needs any more detail on it, it's all there in black and white. Perfect. Thank you so much, Phil. You're welcome, Miranda. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>